Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Twin Flame Freedom. My name is Carmel. This is my Twin Flame Rafan. Uh, today we're going to share with you guys uh, a recent like block we've healed, which is like a uh, it's quite intimate, but it's very helpful, uh, like a sexual block in our in our union, right? Sex is a huge part of Twin Flame relationships, uh, as it is in <laughs> as it is in, in any like relationship. Um, but of course, like you're only meant to have sex with your twin flame, or designed to. Yeah. So when we came into our harmony union, there wasn't like any uh, sexual blocks. Uh, it was feeling pretty good. But a few like months in, uh, it I started to feel this like wall in my heart that I didn't want to like uh, get intimate with my twin flame. It felt very uncomfortable for me. And so the first thing I want to say is like, if you ever feel a uh, like you don't want to be intimate with your twin flame then that's a lie and you just got something to heal because like you and your twin flame are designed to be very intimate and my twin flame like <laughs> Rafan held space for a lot for a while like it was pretty patient <laughs> but then it got to the point where it's like fuck this <laughs> yeah he's like uh yeah fuck this come on. like <laughs> no more and yeah, it got like, I was, uh, I was, I don't know, I was doing my mirror work, I was healing, but like nothing was working and I didn't take it as deep as I needed to, to identify like what I needed to heal. Um, so yeah, if you have a book with your, if you have sexual intimacy, like reservations with your twin flame, then that's just something that you have to heal. Yes. So yeah. So what was your experience with fun, like, of me, like, putting, how did it feel when I didn't, like, want to connect with you? Um, yeah, it's kind of, like, mixed feeling, I was just thinking, is, um, Tamo doesn't love me anymore. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, that's sad, but, um, yeah, I mean, once you hear that, we just know that, um, th that's not true, you know. Right. You you always gonna love each other no yeah what, yeah yeah so divine feminines there's a message for you give your masculine twin flame a little bit of reassurance <laughs> that you love them uh because like i was just going through a block i wasn't saying i don't, i don't like love my twin flame i just didn't want to have sexual intimacy with him because it felt I, d I just was hitting a wall in myself yeah so like for me uh my block was like sexual trauma uh, that's what I eventually identified as so what I meant by that what that was was like uh, experiences that I was holding on to from like when I was younger where I was feeling like a lot of guilt and shame uh, and like stuff like that and that was what was causing the block and like reservations from for being intimate with my twin flame so uh, to go deeper into intimacy with your twin flame then you know if you've got blocks then they're gonna come up to be healed like to go deeper into intimacy you have to heal any like sexual blocks that you have right because it's uh, it's deeper into me intimacy with yourself if you have blocks within yourself then like it's gonna come up in your union so anyway, I went ahead and I healed that uh, with mindalignmentprocess.org, which uh, heals, tra heals trauma. And yeah, like within, after I let myself like process a bit, within like 48 hours, I felt comfortable in being intimate with my twin flame again. Yeah. So you can see like, I was holding onto a blog for like, probably like, I don't know, like three weeks, right? Um, but I, I hadn't identified it as trauma. And uh as soon as it was healed the energy had opened up again for us to like naturally be intimate because that's natural for us to, to be intimate with each other and like, there shouldn't be any like blocks there uh, between you and your twin flame yeah so do you have anything else to share Rafan? like any wisdom or anything oh, how you our sex is great <laughs> what okay, okay. <laughs> well yeah twin flame sex is good um, <laughs> okay. I guess that's that's a good point. Mm -hmm. uh, like sex with your twin flame is meant to be uh, meant to feel good, mm -hmm. meant to feel really good. It's uh, um, 
who you're designed to have sexual intimacy with. You were created to be uh, intimate with each other. So yeah, it's meant to feel normal and natural and you actually do really deep healing work as you begin to deepen your intimacy with your twin flame. Right, because uh, most likely you haven't uh, been intimate with your twin flame for a long time. Not many people are with their twin flames at this time, so you would have had a lot of sexual experiences with like non twin flame partners, and that can like because you aren't designed or created as one, uh, that can naturally like just create dissonance within yourself and your experiences and and. And as I said, like trauma or like just holding on to energy that wasn't yours to hold on to from having uh, sexual experiences with non twin flames. Right? So, yeah, it's not the same with the twin flame. Uh, your, in, your sex just keeps getting better. And as you go deeper with your twin flame, all of those past experiences that you've had with other people, uh, they're going to come up to heal. But that's. that's that's a very good thing, right? Because you want to come back to uh, how you were meant to enjoy uh, sex and how it's meant to be like delightful and uh, enjoyable. Yeah, good. So I'll just see if there's anything else. I'll see if I ask you any questions. Okay, so. So when did it get to like the breaking point for you? What what happened in that breaking point? Like when you got when you got upset, like really upset with me. What was that experience like? What changed your mind to stop holding space? Um, I don't know actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, I try not to think about it. I guess like the bad experience. Okay. You know, well, it's just... not really. It can't harm you or anything. Mm. It's a it's a <laughs> yeah. teachable moment. Yeah, it's just you know I just try and I mean just choose not to hold it for like you know that negative energy just let it go. Right. So <laughs> you're saying it's time to let go of this negative energy, Carmel. So I'm gonna not hold space for you so you can clear your shit, clear yeah. your blocks. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. 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 My twin flame was disciplining me by saying, I'm not going to put up with this behavior. So yeah, good. Well, I'll just see if there's anything else. Yeah, so it's always very safe to be intimate with your twin flame. And like, the more uh, healing you do around your sexual experiences, like, the more your twin flame is going to reflect that. So you can see like, my twin flame is like pretty, like, looks after me pretty well. All right, but <laughs> that's, uh, he feels pretty comfortable around me. Uh, that's what I've achieved through healing my blocks to that kind of relationship and you can do that too so thank you for watching our video I hope you enjoyed it and yeah we'll see you in later videos bye now bye. <laughs>